Hi guys, welcome to another old school video. Today we are hitting Excel part 4. So hopefully you've already found loads of info useful in Excel part 1 to 3, showing you a load of the basic sort of manoeuvres that you're going to need to get your data into a nice viewable layout on Excel in the spreadsheet. Let's move straight on to part 4. Part 4, as you can see, we're going to talk about sorting information, auto-summing cells, calculating cells and formulas. So, let's get straight to it. So, as you can see here, we've, we've got various different orders in here. Just under date, for example, 5th of May, 6th of May. We've got numbers that differ in different orders, some higher, some lower. And we've got descriptions here as well. All starting with different letters, generally. So, if we highlight the cells that we want, and we can go into sort, we can sort A to Z, as you can see, B, C, C, D, H, M. So that's sorted that into order. So you highlight the cells, you right click, select sort, A to Z, left click, done. If you wanted to sort by date, you can also sort by date. And as you can see, the 6th has moved to the bottom, 5th is up at the top. Yep. You can sort by the amounts, smallest to largest. So then you've got, we want one of those, we want 12 of those. You can sort by these amounts if you want. It's all by the same. So right, highlight the stuff, right click, sort, sort by whatever you want to sort by. Expand the section so it moves everything rather than just the information contained in that particular group of cells. Otherwise you'll just sort and it will just sort the amounts and it'll be wrong. So like this, if we did it, sort largest to smallest. If we just click continue with current, Nothing changes apart from those values. So all the other cells stay in the same place, which would be wrong. So let's undo that. If I can get undo to work. There we are. So that is how you sort information. You can sort by alphabet. You can sort by date. You can sort by amount. Pretty much most of the different types of uh, cells that you can change so you can change any of these when you go into format cells number you got all these you can sort by time for example currency for example okay so that's how you sort information Done. auto sum is a feature that excel provides you so we'll move on to auto sum If I can get these to move. Right. So, if you wanted a total, so let's say we want totals here. So we can do total number of items, total amount, total discount, total overall cost. And we want to total up this amount of numbers. So Excel is really good. It automatically calculates it here. If you look where my mouse is, sum 24. So there's six items because there's six rows. There's 24 is the total of those six rows. So we know that this number needs to be 24. So if we wanted to do that, we could do it manually. Just go, yep, 24 and type in 20, 24 into the cell because that totals 24. This, again, we could do the same. That should be £9.10. So we could just do that and type £9.10. The easier way though, if you don't want to do that, or you're using a larger amount of cells, there's only six rows here, you could have 600 rows. If you click Auto Sum, it'll automatically highlight the cells above and it will start to create a formula for you in that cell. So cell G12 has now got equals sum G6 dot dot G11. So what that's saying is that it's totaling up 
G6, dot dot is the through to G11. So when you press enter, that will give you the total of those cells above. So we now know that this should total £3.50. To check that, we can just highlight these cells and look here. Again, six counted, £3.50. We know that that's right. And that saves you having to manually type or calculate each of the cells. So if we click that, you highlight nothing. You just click Auto Sum. It does it for you. If you don't want to use all of the values in your particular spreadsheet so far, you can adjust it. So you might just want three of the six. So you want to know the total of those three auto sum. £7.90, check it there, £7.90. But we want the whole total auto sum, £14.70. So we now know when we go shopping that the total of these £14.70. Total discount is £3.50 and the total amount is £9.10. Okay. Auto sum. Done. Calculate cells. So here we know that the total amount here is the total of these that have been converted manually to here. So we've gone the six of those at 50p each is three pound. We know that that's true, but how do we check that that's actually right without having to do it manually? That's where we can set up a formula. So we can say that cell H6 now, which it currently is three pound as a number, is actually equal to the sum of and then you can do six items and we know that they're 50p each so the six times that cell so we now know that e6 times f6 so e6 times f6 should be equal to three pound which it is so now we know how to produce a formula in excel this is quite a simple formula, so that's this times this. You could do this plus this, you could do this minus this, you could do this divided by this. Pretty much any mathematical calculation can be used in Excel, assuming that you know how to build the formula and that you know what different variables you want to include in your calculation. Brackets will allow you to separate individual calculations. So we now have that, we know that that's correct. We could then say, well, hang on, what is that minus the discount? So you do the sum of that as that is three pound and then you minus off the discount value, G6. There is no discount at the moment, so it still reads three pound. If we wanted to check that that formula calculation was correct, we put pound in, automatically adjusts the calculating cell for you both here and here, if you watch. Okay, so we know that that's working. That's a working calculation. That's how you calculate a cell. And it's how you add a formula. But what we will also do to make this easier for you is show you how you can copy this formula down into other cells. So in usual Excel form you, or any other Microsoft form, you can do Control C, which is copy. You can right click in the cell and press copy, and then you can move it down and paste. If that's how you want to do that, you can do that, no problem. Might I suggest a slightly easier option though? If you come off the cell and go back on, you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little box a little green box if you hold that cursor over the box it'll turn to a plus nothing plus nothing plus so if you click on the plus with your left mouse button you can then drag that cell down and as you can see my calculation as i click in each cell has copied itself all the way down the table and the total has adjusted at the bottom.
So 1470. Well, just. The reason this has increased is because I've calculated that there's 12 eggs at £1.20 an egg. We actually wanted two boxes of 10. So if we, uh, six, sorry, so if we change that to two, you'll notice that the discount's now been applied to the total. So that's how you can copy formulas across. So this one, I can copy that. If I hit them 20, so now that's calculating that. This one's still £9.10, but if we do that, still £9.10. But as you can see, the formula's changed. This one, 24. We know that's wrong now because I've changed the number of eggs, but what is the right total? 14. Now what's happened here is I've accidentally copied the cell information across so now it's thinking that this is a currency line when it isn't. So you can either right click and copy and then right click and paste special. You can paste with just the values, the formula or mirror the current formula. So if we calculate the values, as you can see, that will calculate the nine pound ten and put that across, which we don't want. We want that, and then we want the formulas. And updated. That's now kept the original format of that cell, so we know that it's in general rather than currency. It's totaled up the total above. Again, we can check 14, 14, and it's now being updated by way of a formula. Great stuff. That is how you use Excel to sort information, how you can automatically calculate with auto sum, I can calculate cells, how you can calculate formulas, and I've also it covered off how to copy formulas. So that is a bit of bonus material. And that is also the end of Old School Excel 4, Part 4, Under Wraps. If you've enjoyed your videos, once again, if you could click like, comment, subscribe, share with your pals, Anyone who might find this information useful, you'd be doing us a great favour. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.